Right, so, got this jar of water. Stick a load of salt in it. There's no measurement to this. You just pour it in. Water will soak up so much salt and then the rest of the salt will get left in the bottom of the glass. It doesn't matter. It'll only hold so much and you want it saturated with salt. Give it a quick stir with a pencil. Technical tool. <laughs> um, so I've got a salt water. We've got this connector that I just showed you. This piece of copper. I've taped it on. Standard insulation tape. Bit round there just to stop it from falling off. And this will be making the contact between the metal and as other probe. If you're getting sparks, you're doing it wrong. No metal should be touching metal. It should be going through the water, through this, onto your metal. Yeah? So, it's your positive. You put on one side of your metal. It's important to clean your metal with mefs to make sure For to make sure that it's clean and grease free from fingerprints as well because that can stop stuff apparently although I ain't seen that I'm doing a little bike glitter tattoo for no reason no specific reason just because I don't really want that one I stick it on my metal rub it in Take the plastic off carefully. Make sure all the details down so the water don't creep underneath it. If this was a knife now, I'd also I'll show you what I'd do. I'd take bits of insulation tape, place them over there, make sure they were sealed nicely like this. To protect the rest of the knife from splatters sometimes you get little splatters that just spit a little bit nothing much to worry about but still better tape than rest rest of your knife up because this is a scrap piece of metal i don't have to so we've got that on there we've got this little probe with his cotton wool cosmetic pad on and we're ready to go so um, I'm going to turn the plug the battery charger in. Now we're on, we've got power through there. Dip it in the water, don't worry about it, it's only 12 volts. Dip it in the water, get your water, get it wet. And when you touch this, you'll notice. A sizzling sound I don't know if the camera can pick that up and it starts to go black see you feel it sizzling through and then you know that it's working now you can go as deep as you want you can have a little bit of an etch a lot of an etch I would say always go more than you think it always looks better deeper than missing bits Pay attention to the edges, the detail. Make sure each place gets an immediate thing. Sometimes it's better to count in your head. One, two, three, four, five, then lift off. One, two, three, four, five, and lift off. If you hold this on too long, it will short out the machine. So just be aware of that. That any more than 10 seconds, say, might short your machine out. You don't want that happening. Just keep working along your image. And wherever's bubble is, keep it nice and wet, but try not to get too much drip off. You don't want it to contact any of your other knife. You hear it going now? Wherever that black stuff's appearing, and you're getting that sizzle, you're eating metal away. Whether it looks like it or not, you are. It's eating metal. You keep going with this and it'll start to like blacken off 
you start to get like a nasty sludgy slime that's the metal breaking away not to worry about you see it's starting to build up on that side this side here now that's the sort of slush I'm talking about remember keep it keep it nice and wet don't have to push on hard or anything like that it's nothing to do with hardness it's just making the connection between the water and the metal that's all you're doing you can see it's starting to go black and sludgy to death now you can hear it sizzling away it's not particularly heat you're creating it's a chemical reaction that's causing the sizzling although if you're doing a knife you don't want to ruin your temper of your knife so don't go too far if, if they feel the metal's getting too hot let it cool down and such uh, I hear you can do this with any metal in fact it works with all sorts of metals um, I've done it personally I've done it on stainless steel and steel really I've never tried anything else but I hear it works on aluminium and all sorts of things um, so you keep working over the area depending on how deep you want I mean if you just wanted a light etch you probably it's probably already deep enough but like I say always go over to make sure you get it because if you take it off there's no going back there's no saying oh I want it deeper now I wish I'd have had it deeper and they always look better deeper take my word for it the ones that you take your time and make sure it goes nice and deep always look better in my opinion see a bit of steam coming from it now that means the knife's getting quite hot if I were doing a knife now I might stop for a while turn the machine off just wait a few minutes five ten minutes for the steel to cool down and then I'd come back and carry on eventually it should start to like get this get this coating on that looks like goes sticky and it should start to sort of like dry off a little bit as well look more sticky some of it's the cotton bud breaking down but most of it's most of it's actually metal it's got to go somewhere and it's breaking up you see the little splatters I was talking about you don't want them getting on your knife it can mark your knife it won't particularly eat your knife away unless there's a connection between it but it could mark your knife you see it start to go dry start to go drier and stickier so you can almost can't see what you what you were doing anymore that's all fine don't worry about it as long as your knife's not getting too hot but it shouldn't get hot enough to break the temper really you'd imagine um, but yeah because this is just a demonstration and I don't want video to be too long I'm going to say that's enough for now you can see it's starting to disappear is the etch what I'll do is I'll just turn my machine off unplug it right because it hasn't got a switch take this clamp off the metal's quite warm touchable uh, if you can see it, it's like blackened away. See, it's like blackened away like that, so you can't really see what's going on now. So then, so then, I'll take this stuff away. It's still quite hot, is that steel at the minute? Break that away, and as you can see. There's a little black outline and the fact that the steel's clear behind it means you haven't got any seepage that's seeped through to blur your image or anything like that. And usually I'd let the knife cool down now before doing this. <coughs> but for video purposes, tiny bit of methylated spirits. Just standard methylated spirits.
and you can see immediately that that's etched perfectly in. You can see immediately that that's etched perfectly in, nice and deep. Um, and that's pretty much it. Keep cleaning and you get a higher polish, higher surface, and that's it. Camper Kosh from Kosh Brushcraft, out again.